fourth annual Sound Shore St. Patrick's Day Parade and celebration. And it is a celebration of both the Irish heritage and the community spirit in the South Shore area. So you know that old song, I love a parade. If you love a parade, you're in the right spot. I'm here, my name is Michael Murphy, and I'm with Pat Murtaugh this year again. Michael. Pat. Michael, great to have our fourth annual St. Patrick's Day Parade in Sound Shore. Absolutely. And and we, Michael and I, were very worried at the outset that we were not going to have any talent with us, but we were joined by the very talented Miss Hudson Valley, who's who's replacing Jackie Gosha. Chelsea? Hi. Chelsea, Chelsea Skid. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about yourself, Chelsea, and how you got this position um well i'm so excited to be here this year it's such an honor to be with you guys um so i am the reigning miss hudson valley 2015 um and you know it's just a lot of hard work to be a pageant girl there's a lot more that goes into it than meets the eye um but you know i'm given all of these really wonderful opportunities and i i can't wait to see what the rest of the year has Wonderful. Well, Pat, you know, she says she's excited to be with us. Let's not disappoint her. <laughs> so I see the parade. <laughs> yes, I think any any in a few minutes we should be having it coming down to Marnick. Unfortunately, we're not on the sunny side of the street, guys. We're on the uh, shaded side. And uh, and the, the people on the street are, seem to be getting a good crowd right now, Mike. What do you yeah, say? Filling them up there. Yeah. Local Sound Shore uh, citizens. Correct. Look at all the kids. That's right. They're excited. They love parades. Not as great as the as the St. Patrick's Day Parade, which Chelsea shared with us that you marched in last week. Yeah, I got to march um, in the Fifth Avenue St. Patrick's Day Parade in Manhattan, so that was a lot of fun. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. With And who did you march with again, Chelsea? Uh, the Westchester County Hibernian Society. See, she's representing Westchester already, Mike. Are they here in this parade? We have there. I think we have the pipes and drums of the Emerald Society. Of West Great, Eastern, terrific. Right? That's close enough, right? Yes, absolutely. That's close enough. So it's it's good to have some talent with us again, Mike, because we were we were very worried about how we were going to do this without somebody who could actually make us look good here at Chelsea, which is your job oh, today. I think you guys are making me look good, though. So. <laughs> oh God, you lie really nicely. I like that, Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, what is it about the fourth annual? We've got we bought Bob McCooey. Right, as our, as our uh, Grand Marshal. Grand Marshal, number four. Yeah. That's right. Number so, four, following on such great other luminaries like Jim Kaloran. Right. Jim Kaloran, number one, was uh, Jim Himes, number two, and uh, Kevin Plunkett, number three. That's correct. Let's see how many of those guys show up today. And this right. this this money that they collect for Sound Shore is wonderful because they give back to the community, Chelsea, right? Is that That's part of what they do? Yeah, so um, Bob McCooey, he's done a lot with the community working in schools and um, a group called Youth Inc. And he coaches a lot of sports teams. Um, so he's just really all about the community and helping out other people, which is really wonderful. It sure is. It yeah. sure is. And and each year they have this, the, the funds that is raised by Sound Shore. I'm like, what, what do they do with those scholarships? Yeah, for the goes for education. Yes, it's a wonderful thing. $2,500 per scholarship, it's right? It's wonderful, Mike? isn't it? It is, yeah. Yep. Yeah, terrific. Plus, it puts on a good day for the, the citizens of the Sound Shore. Absolutely, absolutely. The town must love this, Mike. Oh, uh, well, look at them. They're out there I lining know, up look there. Look at all the kids. Yes. They're so cute. This is what makes it, guys. This is what makes it. The Irish eyes are smiling, even if you're not Irish today, right? That's it. This the, is this is. It doesn't matter what nationality you are. It's oh, great. it's the wonderful thing about St. Patrick's Day in general. You know, it does celebrate the Irish heritage, but also the community spirit. Not only in in the Sound Shore, but other places where they do have parades like this. Correct. Everybody can march. That's Why right. Not? That's right. Yeah. So we're all happy to be in this country. It's a wonderful country that we live in. That's right. And we're happy that St. Patrick came back to Ireland and, and decided to make us, you know, heathens at the time into good Catholics. Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> and we spread ourselves across the world. And you know, obviously. The month of March is huge for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, it is, yes. It's huge. Is this, is this the last one, you think, or is there a few more still? Uh, I think we're done after this week, Mike, with the help of God. <laughs> so it looks like so, we got quite a crowd coming in the first division. Who have we got as our escort division there? Uh, well, that's Chelsea. the American Legion Post 90 Color Guard. And uh, they're making the noise. Actually, I think this is the, the police. Is, are they the Mamaronic police? I think we've got a cross-section of Westchester here, Chelsea. How do you get on with the police, Chelsea? They, I, I'm assuming they treat you well. They do? Oh, absolutely. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. We, we we probably have some Harrison, some Rye, I would imagine, because there's about 14 to 16 uh, motorbike uh, riders That's quite a few motorcycles. I don't think they have that many in America alone. I kind of want to ride on one of those. Those look so much fun. <laughs> Chelsea, I think if you asked, they'd let you. I hope so. I want, the, Mike might have some I want the blinking lights and everything, too. I see Yonkers police. Yep. The Baronic police. Yep. Yep. 
four are you Yonkers? Two Wonderful. Manning. Lovely flashing lights. The kids will love this. Oh, they look great. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah. This oh, they're just great. waiting for the band to strike it up. No. Let's hope they practice. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's my favorite part about parades. I love the bands, and especially with um, St. Patrick's Day parades, all the bagpipes that mm. play. Yeah. And those kilts, Chelsea, those kilts are oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, they're the killer. Least. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes. Mike, you know. so. Oh, you guys aren't wearing yours right now? Well, uh, under the table, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why we're, it's a little chilly here. Yeah, we're closeted to kilt people, yeah. actually. Uh, okay. Chelsea, we're closeted to kilt okay. people. We only do it on the weekends and uh, at home with our wives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chelsea, you want to talk about the pipe and drums, which we're beginning to hear? Sure. Um, so they were organized in 1973 by the Yonkers Police Lieutenant um, Martin Harding. Um, and it originally had about 15 members. So now I'm sure that, you know, they've grown. Um, it looks like to be about 60 active members, and that's a huge jump. That sure is. So I'm excited. I hear them now. Yeah. Looks like, Mike, they brought quite a collection here today. Yeah, too. I think they're waiting for the light to turn green. <laughs> <laughs> Let the balloon oh, man pass. Oh, my God. What a day to be carrying balloons, guys. Huh? Right? For those of you who can't see, somebody just crossed the street with uh, two bags of balloons. Bag of balloons, yes. Here we go, guys. It's on. It's game All right, guys. yeah, there it is. All right. We have the Harrison police, the county police. Yep. New York State. Scar State. State Trooper. Yep. Here comes our first marchers. We have the color guard. That's okay. it from the American Legion Post. American Legion Post is here in the village of Abaranek. It's over by the uh, police station. So beautiful, have, these beautiful are, helmets, Mike. Beautiful aren't they wonderful? Helmets. Were you shining those last night, Mike? Uh, they look like they were shining them all night. I yes, think they were. Very good, gentlemen. Men and their sons. That's it. Marvelous. Abaranek Post 90. Good job, guys. Looking good. Ah, uh, go, this wonderful. Your favorite, your favorite people. Don't you just I love know. the bagpipes? Oh my gosh, I love them. Yeah. Let's listen to this crowd. That what do you say, beautiful. Pat? Name that tune. Name that tune. <laughs> I can name that in 40. Uh... <laughs> I wish I knew what it was. Isn't that amazing. Yeah. Beautiful. 24 members, Mike. Right. 24 members. Really? You know, since they have 60 active members, they said some must have stayed yeah. home because yeah. of the weather, you know? Oh, yeah. We got the hardy ones. Yeah. And who's this here group, comes Mike? Our, this is our parade committee over here, the wonderful people that, that organize this parade, the volunteers that have spent a, a fair bit of their time putting this thing together. Oh, yeah. We have, there's, there's Kevin O'Shea, and I see Tanya McMiniman. Yes. Oh, and there's Caitlin and Laura Murphy. Yeah, right. Yes, the Murphys are there. All right, there's oh. Mikey Hines and Tim O'Neill. All right, hey, Mike, yes. Mike is not feeling We got Nicole. Jimmy Murray. We got Greg Sullivan. There's Chris Murphy. Thank you. There's Thank you guys. Al Wilson. Oh, guys, great job this year. They're doing a lot of talking. Hey, Mike. Chris. They're doing a lot of talking. They're yanking back at us here. Right? Looking good there. And they're taking photographs of Isn't that wonderful? This is great scary. people. Now, here's. Our With Grandmaster. <laughs> Hello, Sandra. Now, who have we got here? That's our Grandmaster. That's our Grand Marshal. With Grand Marshal. Yes. Right? yes. Congratulations. Oh, Mr. McCoy. Good job. Good job. And that would be All his right. family. Yes, it's his family oh, there. What a Isn't that wonderful? Family. Yes. Six children, right? Six, Six children. children. A wife of 22 years. Wow. wow. We Amazing. Can talk, we can talk Good about members Bob. of the community. Absolutely. Next up, though, we have the Yorktown Pipes and Drums. Another pipe band here, Chelsea. Yorktown Irish Pipes and Drums. Did okay. you get the whole name there? I did. It's the Yorktown Irish Pipes and Drums of the Irish American Social, Social Club, Club of Northern Westchester and Putnam County. That's right. So what are we going to call them? We just call them the Pipes We're, we're going to call them a mouthful. Yeah, right. <laughs> you lose your air on that name. <laughs> That's here at Yorktown. Oh, they're terrific. They come all the way down from Yorktown. Yeah. Wow. Real professional band there. Excellent. And all right, right, we got the Porchester Fire Department. 
Led by Chief Kevin Mc McMinn. McMinn. I like All that right. name. Oh, they're looking good. Harry Howard. Staying warm. Yep. Yes. That's a Not great. even breaking a sweat, they've come all oh this my way. Gosh, she has a green beard. That is amazing. <laughs> Son of a gun. No, that is I something. I it. like that. A green beard. Very yeah, nice, wow. Good job, guys. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Love the beard. Oh my gosh, right. he's great. Totally in step. So tell us about Porchester, Mike. Are they they're fully volunteer? Are they have professionals? Uh, well? They are, uh, to tell you the truth, I really don't know, Pat. Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah. I'm going to guess that they're volunteer well, by the look of them. How about I ask right. guys, are we all professionals here? Are we we a combination of, of professionals and volunteers? All right. That's it. <laughs> they're all professional. Professional like, volunteers. I was right? straightening out there yeah. fairly quickly. Yes. <laughs> There's one thing Let's about that for next year. Firemen give it to you straight. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah. They definitely do. Right. <laughs> you do a great job. You do a great job, guys. That's it. I've been straightening out here. It's about yeah. saving people's lives. <laughs> Absolutely. Which it is. No and matter if you get paid for it or not. That's right. And they they have got quite a few of their trucks with them. Sure. They've got here's they got a team of uh, their explorers. That must be the guys that they're in training. Oh yeah. Wonderful, isn't it? Oh yeah. Got to keep training new firemen. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. It's it's becoming tougher to be a volunteer fireman. Uh, no, I heard. It's the training that's involved. Absolutely. Lots of training going Tremendous on there. Tremendous training that's involved. There's no doubt about it. Tremendous. Good job, guys. Well on Porchester. All right. Porchester's in the house. That's, that's right. great. That's right. Yes. So Representing their fair share of the uh, Sound Shore. Absolutely. We should talk so. a little bit about Bob McCooey and what he's done, Chelsea. Do you want to... Do you want to talk about just yeah. how much he's done to the, for the community as well? Sure. I mean, he contributes with Catholic schools, um, a lot of uh, different kids' organizations. Um, he's really big with POTS, too. POTS is a soup kitchen, and it helps feed the hungry that are here in New York. Um, so he does a lot with the POTS. Brilliant. Wonderful. Yeah. Brilliant. That's more like it. Yes. That's, That's more like right? it. Wonderful. <laughs> Someone like Bob McCooey would not be involved in anything other than something. No, upstairs. nothing at all. Not in this parade. <laughs> so, and and with six children, sounds like he's a good uh, Irish Catholic. Well, I would say right? yes. Very good. I love that. I think we most had, of his family is here too. I saw the marching with him. It, yeah. It would appear that way. Yep. With Holy Family and with Resurrection, uh, Mike, you know, involved with local Catholic schools. Absolutely. And uh, Holy Child, sorry, I should say Holy Child. His daughter went yes. to Holy Child. Yes. Which is a, a very well-known Catholic school in the area. And next we have coming up. With we the still have the Port Chester Fire Department. That's right. It's quite an organization. They all sure. came out today. Isn't that wonderful? Supporting oh, yeah. the South Shore Parade. They brought all their equipment with them, yep. Michael. They're looking good. Let's hope there isn't a fire in Port Chester today. Well, if there is, I know that. Oh, well, look, here I it comes. I think they're well covered. I think they're well covered. Who have we got Some of our, our, our wonderful representatives from the uh, the South Shore area. I see George Senator, State Senator George Latimer. Correct. The our village mayor Norm Rosenblum. That's right. We see the uh, the deputy county executive Kevin Plunkett. Ah, very and good. And I think I see our uh, state assemblyman Stephen Otis. Okay. So to begin with. And do you have any of the is the town supervisor there, uh, Nancy? Let me see. Hidden, I think she's hidden by the porch. Oh, I see her. Yep. There's the town supervisor, Nancy Siegelson. Excellent. We've got some of our uh, Mamaroneck Village trustees there. Super. That's wonderful. We have, I think, uh, who do I see over there? Uh, I see Leon. I hear some Irish dancing music. I hear some Irish dancing up. music, too. I hear some dancing. Who would that be? Uh, is that, is that uh, the O'Rourke Irish? O'Rourke Irish Chelsea? dancers. Yes. Sweet. yes. You know, I hear that some people just come out for the Irish dancers. Yeah. Oh, it's my just, gosh. They're incredible. Incredible. Yes, absolutely. Incredible. But I'm glad to see that they're well covered on a day like today because it can get nippy out there on that. Uh, oh yeah. On Mamaroneck, and they're doing their high stepping already, guys. Oh my oh, gosh. Look at them go. I love we it. should be doing it. I love it. Right? Yes. I love it. So I actually got to go to um, the Oroctas, which is a huge Irish dancing um, competition, and there are just hundreds and hundreds of Irish dancers. They are incredible. They are very, very talented. Are they from all over the country, Chelsea, or is that local? Um, it? These ones were just in the Northeast, okay. um, and it was in Philly. Yeah. But they are so, so talented. Yeah. I'm impressed with the fact yeah. that you could say Eroctus and not make a the mistake. Eroctus, yes. <laughs> Good. My best friend is Irish, and I think if I pronounced it incorrectly, she would kill me. Sure, you'd be in trouble. That's right. You mentioned you have a friend who, who owns a dance studio, right? Yeah, um, Megan McGuff. She owns the McGuff Academy of Irish Dancers. On McLean Avenue. County Assemblywoman Catherine Parker. That's right. Let's invite Norm. Norm, come on Norm, up. Come on up. Come on up. George, George. You want to go and come back? George, come on back. Over. George, come on back, guys. Come on back. 
If you'd like to finish it up, Norm, you can come oh, back. Oh, Kevin. Kevin okay. Bluggett. Yes. Hello, Ernie. <laughs> Nancy. You yes, see? we have Chelsea. Yes. I'm glad you're here, There's Chelsea. Tom Murphy. All right. Oh, that's oh, it. Good. All right. That's Chelsea, it. Chelsea, they wouldn't be joining us. We have on Tom here. Murphy over there, too. Or well, I'm glad I could help you guys out. Thank you. <laughs> Do you want to speak about O'Rourke? The O'Rourke dancers. Yeah. Um, sure. So they're directed by Luann or more. Oh, look at how cute nice they are car. with the little curls going nice on. Nice car. Nice car. Luann O'Rourke was the founder? Luann O'Rourke. Yeah. Um, and they're in White Plains, New York. Yeah. Oh, oh no, this look. is the real deal, isn't it? Check yes. this out. Let's, let's clap along. All right. All right. Let's get that crowd going. Oh, and a good music coming up behind it. Woo! Uh, I remember those days. Uh, you saw the Irish dancing yourself I back? did indeed, Michael. I did indeed. I could never get my leg up that far. That no. was a big problem. Keeps you fit, though, doesn't I it? I had to give it up, yeah. yeah. After pulling three hamstrings, that was it. I had to stop it. Good job, girls. Well done. Great job. Look at those beautiful smiles. Wonderful Lovely. job. Good job, girls. Well done. Very good. Look at they supply their own music, too. Isn't That's that right. Something? That's right. Pretty good. That's right. It's beautiful. The diddly diddly. <laughs> and now, look at this. Oh, it looks like we've got the, uh, the oh. this is the brownie troop. What would a 2690. Be? Ah, you gotta have the brownies. Yeah. Hello, girls. That's right. Were you it's great to have them coming out here. They're in Chelsea, our were you a brownie? Were you a Girl Scout or a brownie? Or did you? Uh... I was not. No. no. Neither was I. Yeah. I was no. a bad boy. I love the cookies, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. The cookies. Girl Scout cookies. That's right. That's right. Now we have the, the Larchmont Fire Department here. This is the Historical Society here. The, the Larchmont Historical Fire Company. It's a division of the Larchmont Historical Society. Tell us about these guys, Mike. Well, they were established, uh, they're about uh, eight years now, back in 2007, and they're preserving the, the Larchmont's historical firefighting oh, traditions and artifacts. <laughs> Don't they look marvelous? They look marvelous. That's a, you those know, uniforms. You know, you can tell how windy Those are based on yeah. Civil War Infantry Company, comprised of volunteer firefighters called, called the 11th New York Volunteers, the wow. Fire Suaves. Very Ooh, nice. I like that name. Now, Pat. Too. Is that a 1922 American LaFrance pupper? <laughs> Looks like it to me. Michael, if you say so, <laughs> that is a nice engine. Wow. Isn't that something? Superb. Superb. Completely restored. Isn't that something? It's per beautiful. Purrs like a kitten, Mike. Purrs, Purrs like, like a kitten. kitten. Purrs like a fire truck. Oh. All right. That was brilliant. Are you warming up there? The oh race just getting started. Yeah, yeah. Christy, how cool is it? Huddle in, huddle in. Huddle in to Christy. Huddle in. <laughs> now who have we got coming up here, guys? Well, so we got, got another band. It looks like we must have, this must be the Pipe and Drums, the Emerald Society of New York City Police Department, is it? It could be. Or is it Iona? I don't know. <laughs> New York City Police Department, I think, looks a little bit different. A little bit month. different, I'd say. You know, they're marching. They might not be in order, but they definitely are marching. And they're sounding <laughs> great. <laughs> Yeah. This is, you can tell by the, let's see on the drum there. It says Empire. kind of Empire. giving it away. It says Empire, Mike. The Empire Pipe, Pipe Band. Band. Okay. Right. I don't think we have too much Aren't information. Aren't they terrific? They are terrific. Aren't they terrific? I Boy, love it. coming all the way just yeah. for this parade. That's yeah. fantastic. It doesn't matter who it is, when you hear a pipe band, there's, there's something very unique about that sound, isn't there? Yeah. It really is. There's no yeah. mistake in it. You know, whether you have a funeral or a wake, with the Irish, you always have to have a piper. It's yes. such a wonderful and sound. And when you see them marching, you know you're at a St. Patrick's Day parade. Absolutely. Absolutely. Looks like the Larchmont Fire Department here. Here we go. Probably showing up. Yep. Larchmont Fire Department. Wait, marching. Oh, Captain not even breaking John a sweat. You Caporelli. Can I wonder what county he's from, uh, Chelsea. Uh, Caporelli? Caparelli? Caparelli. Is that from like Mayo or, or Kerry? That could, you know, it's a. Uh, no idea. <laughs> could be Irish on his mother's side. I think it might yeah. be. Maybe, yes. It might be. <laughs> That's well, right. you know, a lot of Italians and Irish mix together, so. That's very true. It's That's true. Very true. They, they uh, suffer from the same misery. That's right, sir. <laughs> 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 and they find the same, they find happiness together. <laughs> yes. uh, but it's a wonderful misery. We love we love our we love our company. I mean, you know, I live in, I live in East Chester, which is a ter tremendous Italian American community there, mm -hmm. and and the two communities just meld so well together, and their history is so linked with Catholicism, obviously coming from Rome and St. Patrick coming back to Ireland to 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 spread Catholicism. So you know, it's 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 
great to share the culture. Well, here we are outside our Tussauds Bakery, right, Mike? Yes. Which uh, shared with us is what you were called. Wonderful people. Right? Yes. And, and when St. Francis, or sorry, St. Francis, Pope Francis became Pope. Yes, they had those cookies. I remember <laughs> forget those cookies. With his likeness in it, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yes. Well, it's amazing. No, I said, this is the great thing about the Sound Shore community is it's a melting pot of people, wonderful people. It sure is. Irish, Italians, yeah. Hispanic, yeah. African-American. Yeah. We have them all. And, and that's the thing about the Irish. We're spread throughout the world. You'll find us everywhere. So Absolutely. So we integrate so well with the other communities, you know? Whether it's... Anywhere they'll take us. Anywhere they'll take us, Mike. <laughs> There's been a few places they didn't want us, but... <laughs> that's right. They yeah. tried to push us out. There are actually more Irish people in America than there are in Ireland. Is that right? Yeah. And that's I something. Believe that. I believe and that. That more... says something. I'm not yeah. sure what, but it, it says something. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I kind of like America, so uh, maybe listen. that's what's up. You ever been to Ireland? I have not been to Ireland, no. Somebody out there, take this lady to Ireland. That's right. <laughs> it's, I, a, it's a wonderful place. I have spring break coming up, so. <laughs> you may Send never want to come back. Too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, we well, have to go through you guys first. Uh, so we'll do, yeah. we'll do the clearing, right? Okay. That's so true, we'll yeah, clearing. yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yes. We have a little bit of a lull. I assume up ahead of us, Mike, where they have the review stand. They might yes. be doing a little bit of uh, performing up there. Right? I would think so. I think maybe the O'Rourke Irish dancers have uh, gotten their... Uh, yeah, gotten their act together. Yes, and they're probably doing a little doing bit of uh, high-stepping there uh, for you them. Right. you got to love it. That's you got to do it after all. All the work that the committee put into putting this uh, parade on, you know, they've got to have a little bit of entertainment. Yeah. So, and and talk- they did a wonderful job this year. Always, this is a great parade do. as usual. The work starts at the end of last year's parade. Oh, not like- yeah. isn't that something? All right, Christy? Yeah. Or Chelsea, sorry, got to, got Large Mont right Fire Department. Yeah. Okay, it's cold outside. You're allowed to make a mistake. <laughs> yeah, here's more of the Large Mont. We got lots of fire departments rep- represented. We do. Oh, yeah. For some reason, I guess it's the fact that, that so many Irish Americans have become firemen and police officers that they true. they tend to, to uh, show up in support of very, days like today. Very true. Very well, Pat, true. Chelsea, this is Maranek Avenue School, or what they call Moss. Yeah. The Merrick Avenue School is on Merrick Avenue. It's a uh, it's a wonderful school in our community. Represents the best of, of the uh, the village of Merrick. My kids actually went to the Merrick Avenue School. Uh-oh. Yeah. Hello, Moss. Way to go, guys. The wonderful children and the parents of Merrick Avenue School. Oh, I know. <laughs> Great place to learn. Yeah. I Good love job. The kids. Uh, Aren't they wonderful? The kids That's are it. my favorite. Mr. Chid. That's it. How's it going? You know, everything is about the children, guys, when it comes to bread. You know, we're, yes. we, we were all kids at Norman, one point. come on up. Speaking of children, we got a good, we got Norm was a child at once. Look at Hi. This. I'm going to, you can squeeze right on the end over there and squeeze in. Here, grab a bite. So. A fantastic day. Isn't it something? Absolutely. This is one of the better days in the village of Amaranek here of all the great days we have. So. Man. Pat was just telling me, Pat was just saying that the village of Merrimack was voted the, the best place to live in the state of New York. Is that right? Absolutely. We're number one uh, in New York State by, I think it was Mavoto, which adds to um, a couple of years ago when CNN Money Magazine did the best 100,000 villages in the United States. We were number 63 in the United States and number one again in New York State. Isn't that something? Incredible. And what it comes down to are three individuals like you. Everyone else you see walking here is the volunteers that make Mamaronica a great, great place. And it's the diversity, culturally, ethnically, um, you know, economically. It's just something that... Uh, represents the best of America. This oh, is yeah. the American dream. Yes, yes, it this is. could be anywhere in the United States. Absolutely. Well, as we were saying, since the parade like this, it, it usually ce- it celebrates not only the Irish heritage, but also celebrates the community spirit of a place like the village of Maranek, which is a great place that we're glad that we're hosting the parade. Even though it's a Sound Shore parade, which covers the whole Sound Shore from Port Chester down to Pelham, we're, we're glad it's here. Right, and I don't know, I don't remember it uh, perfectly, but it was Aaron Malty Falsha, 100,000 welcomes. Kid, kid me a Oh, that's it. I that's couldn't it. remember it. But that's it. 100,000 welcomes in the village of Maranek. That's right. And uh, the importance of, even though there's a religious aspect to it, this underlies the freedom of religion in the United States. And it's great that you can have a culture remind itself. Oh, don't, don't touch the mic. <laughs> Pat, what do we have here? Well, it looks like we have the pipe and drums of the Emerald Society of New York Police Department. Listen to them, they are absolutely incredible. I think they have about 112 members. 
guys are the real deal. Oh, the best. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. They take the they take the win rate out of you, don't they? Oh my God. There's something else. They yeah. were incredible. Oh These yeah. These are our great volunteer. These are volunteer firemen. Uh, this is from Amaranek. Oh, all right. We got our volunteer firemen from the village of Amaranek. Yeah. All right. Gentlemen. And that's the outgoing chief coming right up front. And the chief Baba, is who? Uh, Simonowski. Oh, okay. And then there's Robert Pecchia. Uh, Pecchia. Pecchia. Robert Pecchia. I was doing yes. the other one. These guys. They're this, the best. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. They represent they're the largest volunteer group, over 200 active members. Not only do they do volunteer, economically they save the village two or three million dollars a year wow. by being all volunteer. And we're happy Plus, to have here marching in the parade. And not only that, they are. Uh, it's hard to hear. They are the volunteers that also uh, participate in all the other events. This is. Uh, and always, I always like to re uh, comment the end of the parade, that you also Josie. have to thank their families oh, no, no. because these are the first guys to take off and their families give up their time with them too. Oh, absolutely. Village of Mimaranic is the hook and ladder. Beautiful. Where was that made? Uh, this is about, about a year and two years old. Yeah. Beautiful. It's fairly new. Uh, we just ordered a new rescue truck. There is a group coming up. We're still coming. <laughs> All right. You know, they have every we reason to, to toot their horn. They're a wonderful Absolutely. group of citizens, great volunteers. Oh my gosh, yeah. Wow, there's amazing. How much? My ears. I know. Very selfless dedication to the friendly village. That's great. Not a doubt in my mind. All right. Good job, guys. I think we got the full treatment there. Holy cow. Uh, not bad. Now, you know, Norm, by the way, Mayor, this is Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. Chelsea. How are you? Chelsea it's is a pleasure. Yeah. Miss Hudson Valley. Miss Hudson Great. Valley, yes. So Should be Miss New York State. <laughs> Maybe one day. Okay. <laughs> That's the next step, Norm. Pat That's and I wanted step. to wear a crown, too, but they wouldn't let us. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might know. So, that. Norm, talk about the Mamaroneck Avenue and all the changes that have occurred since, since basically Molly's moved to the town. You well, know, actually, Molly's can be considered one of the cornerstones of the improvement, yeah. the continued improvement of Maranek Avenue. Uh, even if a store goes out, almost immediately it comes in. If you note down at the end of course in the regatta, you have two new buildings going up. Uh, I think Murphy Brothers essence, is building one of them. Isn't yeah, it? they are, actually the other one. And it's a combination, which is great. It adds to the tax space and the uh, vitality of the village. We have both retail space and now affordable housing yeah. uh, on top. We also did the um, TOD, Transit Oriented Development, where we changed the zoning from the railroad bridge down to Memorandic Avenue School, which will allow for the same thing. Excellent. Uh, so Norm, it'll be uh, retail on the bottom one? and uh, Sorry. residential on top. Cool. Do you mind if we talk about the Lynn Academy of Music? The Lynn Academy? 
the Lynn Dancing? Irish dancers. That's Irish right. Dance, yeah. Chelsea. All right, we got another group of Irish dancers coming up, and it's the Lynn Academy of Irish Dance. That's right. Oh, and I see them right there. There they they're are. In the back. Oh, I love how they're waving their flags. Right. That's so awesome. Uh, they've been dancing. They've been keeping oh, there warm, we go. Chelsea, the whole way through. Here we go. See, here we go. Yeah. They're high stepping for us, there, uh -huh. Mike. And the Lynn Academy has been around for about 11 years now. That's right. And they produce world champion Irish dancers who've gone on to win first place locally, regionally, and national wow. under the direction of former Riverdance Broadway performer Maureen Collins. Brilliant. Well done, Lynn. Here they go. They're Terrific. doing a little thing for us, Mike. That's the way to stay warm today, guys. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. 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 And hey, right. the only way you can follow up the Lynn Irish dancers is with the Mamaroneck Youth Hockey. That's right. And Gosh. here they are next. Perfect weather for the bike. Absolutely. Right. Good farm team for the high school. That's right. Surprised they don't have their skates on. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I think it's interesting to note from the first parade we had, the size of this parade has grown exponentially. Yes. You can I see. think we should be considered number one in Westchester County, second only to St. Patrick's Day in Manhattan. <laughs> From your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> That's so. right. Wow. Oh, oh, here we go. They're doing. They're giving them ten. All right. They're giving them ten here, guys. All right. That's oh. hey, that great. Look at All that. All right. Like, that must be Irish push-ups. <laughs> <Right? laughs> <laughs> and now be behind behind the Tigers. All right. Good job. American youth hockey. That's right. They are in the house. Now we have the St. Christopher's Marching Cobras. Who are these guys? These guys are St. Christopher's School over in Dobbs Ferry. They're terrific. They actually were in the movie Birdman. Wow. See the movie Birdman? Yeah. What oh, a no, best picture? Yep. Not a great movie, but but I'm not a critic. Yeah. I love the band though. These guys yeah. are terrific. I saw these girls dancing back there. I think they might start for us now, and I love it. Wow. Good. And they've got their drum line growing as well, Chris. Marvelous. There you go. Oh, I love the attitude. Oh, oh, look at this little one with her attitude. I yeah, love yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta have attitude. There you go, guys. There they go. And next up, we have the Girl Scouts coming through here, Mike. The Terrific. Girl Scouts. The Girl Scouts. Aren't they great? You know, I wish I had some cookies with them. They might be selling them at the end of the parade, Chrissy. Right? Are they brownies? Chelsea, Chelsea. I guess they must. Oh, it's Troop 20, uh, 2586. And another troop behind them. I can't see their numbers on them. The girl, side, girl Scouts behind them. We got Troop 1848. <laughs> There's the cookies. All right. Yeah. Uh, cookies. Oh, cookies. Yes. The cookies. Wow, the Girl Scouts are out number. Oh, this, yeah. is a, this is a lot of them here. There's Troop 1793. Wonder where they're they from. Some more. And more. Look at this. Troop 2621. Troop. Good job, girls. Good job. Boy, that's a lot of yeah, Girl Scouts great. and Brownies. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that great? Wow. All happy to be in the parade. All very happy. Celebrating wonderful community spirit in the, right. in the uh, South Shore area. Oh, Isn't that terrific? <laughs> My neighbor. A little, little the break in the parade. Really? Come by, sell those cookies. Yes. That's right. Excellent salesman. How do you turn a Girl Scout down, really? You cannot, no, especially since the cookies I have so many boxes of cookies in my drawer that I'll never use. Oh, come on. If you need any, I'll give them to you. <laughs> Bring them over. You know really. To... All right. Bring them to Murphy Brothers. So, Norm, tell us what's happening with the Playhouse now that it's closed down. What's... Well, unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, depending how you look at it, nothing has been presented to the village of Mamaroneck. Okay. Uh, the village did pass a uh, local overlay law where uh, nothing can, no demolition permit can be issued until uh, planning, uh, site review is Has done approved. before the planning board. Good. And the idea is obvious, it's not to stop anyone from developing, it's to keep uh, an ugly empty hole yep. like we suffered for 10 years with the regatta. Ah. So, in fact, we're gonna do the same overlay on the post road from Mamaroneck Avenue to Fenimore. Very good, very good, so, good to good. hear. Good to hear. Big plans for the village of Mamaroneck. Oh my gosh. Yes, I think it needs a self storage facility, don't you? I think uh, we should ha expand what we have. As a matter of fact. Absolutely. Very good. <laughs> Nothing like increasing the tax base. And there's very quickly before the band comes up, one of my favorites, the pipe bands. Uh, any municipality that doesn't continue to grow will die from atrophy. 
The Village of America is lucky to have people like Murphy Brothers, known and not because sure. you're here, it's true, to continue the development. And the trick is, without changing the character of the village, yep. why Absolutely. everybody comes here. Yep. Contributing to it. Right. So now we have one of our local colleges, Murphy. Yes. I own a college. Yep. Wow. Chelsea, you want to take this? Sure. So this is um, the Iona Pipe and Drums, and they've been around since 1966. 66. So a pretty long time. And I love the kilts that they have on. I feel like those are the original color yep. scheme. They're just great. The Iona Gales. <laughs> Chelsea, the Iona Gales. They played in the uh, MAC final in basketball. Mm-hmm. We're unfortunately beaten by the Jaspers of Manhattan. Another good Catholic school. Unfortunate. Yes. So Iona is actually a rival of mine because I went to Fordham University ah. in the Bronx. Yes, it is. All right. Hey, they're Very terrific. Good job. Good job, Iona good job. Pipers. All the go. I said that was a Beatle tune, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Could have been. But it was, a, it was a friendly ri- rivalry, was it, Chelsea? Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Oh, yeah. And you know what? Everyone always pays attention to the bagpipes, the but the hole. drums. Correct. Uh, actually, you know, they are wonderful. I walked outside. I had the three layers right. on. Of the my drum. hands are my yeah. face. They're yeah. a little <laughs> cold. Yeah. But uh, as they say, no, great. being a little uh, this, Irish this, of the day, this is a big parade. I thought we had a break here, Chelsea. I think they promised us the sunny side next year. That would be nice, Mike. They promised us a sunny side last year. <laughs> <laughs> but we like promises, being outside. They said, we must like have got it from the politicians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> promises, promises, yeah. Good job. Here we go again. They're off again, Chelsea. Wow. Here we go. Terrific. Good job. Tom Maranac Fireman, yeah. right? Yeah. I'd I like to substitute hat. All right. Harrison, Harrison. <laughs> volunteers as well? Chief yep. Nardozzi. They're a uh, combination, volunteers and paid. They're paid drivers. Harrison Fire Department. Yep, Harrison. Great to see Harrison here. Bill Germanic's the only all volunteer fire department. Here. Really? Yeah. Yep. With over 200 members. Wow. Oh. And like you said, you, you want to thank their families as well because they put up uh, the sacrifices. Yes. <laughs> At any time, day and night, seven days a week. Say that again, Norm? You have to not only thank the volunteer firemen, but their families, because the families give up the time. Absolutely. And there's times in the middle of celebrations and everything, these guys just take right off. Yeah. And women, too. Absolutely. We have yeah. women fire- firefighters. Oh, yeah. Well, the, uh, the ladies, I'm assuming, also have a backup. The auxiliary as well, is, are the ladies involved in that? Or is there oh, really? yeah. They're uh, uh, women firefighters. Sure. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's brilliant. That's great. They've opened it up. Yeah. They, they, is it, it's becoming difficult, though, is it not be, in maintaining the, the volunteerism because of the hours that's required for the training? Well, not only the hours. There's an economic factor. A lot of people at work, yeah. uh, no matter what uh, strata you're in, uh, it's hard to be able to volunteer and, and make, uh, make the calls. Yes. And the more expensive it comes to live, uh, to live in the village of Mimaranek, the more pressure it is to get people to volunteer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's one of the important reasons. And the same reason the Village of Maranek was exempt from the HUD lawsuit is that the Village of Maranek for many years has had a program when you uh, do build residence, there's an incentive to have affordable housing, like 10%. Uh-huh. Sure. And that's why we are so far advanced in the number of available affordable, affordable housing housings. that uh, we were exempt from it. That's very and good. we continue to do that. Good for you, Norm. Doing a great job there, man. You got a wonderful town. Wonderful well, town. you know, I you don't it. get to be number one no. just because you're a good looking fits. little bit. Village, right. yeah, right. You got to be born just a friendly village. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, Chelsea. one of the key factors is I'm third generation. There's people out of fourth, fifth generation. There's also people that came here last week, and That's everyone's right. welcome and treated the same. Yep. That's the best part. Oh, you can go up and down this entire parade and see any group that's represented here, and, it's, and everybody gets along. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Great community. Great community. I see our our, our sponsors, <laughs> LMC I TV. I think this is your your turn here, Chelsea. Right? Alrighty. So LMC TV, um, they broadcast on Cablevision channels 75, 76, 77, and Verizon channels 34, 35, and 36. And I think their mission too is to reflect the diversity that is in the Larchmont Maranac area. Community. Um, 
and like, oh, <laughs> well, I hope he finds her. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's Harrison rescue. He's going to rescue, rescue his, wife. his wife. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my God. That's funny. Uh, so here's LMC TV also on YouTube as well, right? Uh, YouTube. Yep. Hey, LMC TV is wonderful part of our community here. That's right. So that's we're very right. fortunate to have them. That's right. And they're littering the community with these green frisbees. <laughs> Smile for the camera. <laughs> Okay, uh, hopefully we can uh, work job, LMC guys. TV into going into a permanent home at the uh, old hook and ladder. Great Wouldn't job, guys. Kind of work that'd that'd be great. LMC TV. Be great. Give me one of those. LMC TV, you litter in the community <laughs> with these wonderful that. frisbees oh, awesome. that says the local live. Watch the local live. Isn't that great? You're hyper local. Hello, Carolyn. Uh, sure classic is. 1957 sure Chevy. Carolyn Pomerantz. That's brilliant. Yes, love LMC TV. That's great. Same to you. And we love classic cars. Now, do you have a little thing that you need to say, Chelsea, or is that at the end of the parade? That's that we're at doing? the end oh, of the brilliant. parade. Oh, brilliant. Okay, excellent. So now we've got some classic cars, Mike, huh? Isn't that a beauty? That is nice. What year would you say that is, Norm? 57. 57. Oh, nice. 1957 classic Chevrolet. That's Who's driving Bel -Air. that, Norm? That's, that's a winner no matter where you go. Yeah, yeah it's a rag top, too. Yeah. yeah. Perfect weather for it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Put the top down. Yeah, here we go. LMC TV, they've, yes. They've, that's they've dressed them up. <laughs> All right, the local live. This is a big parade this year, Norm. Uh, this is uh, a big parade. This great. Wow. It's a commercial yeah, it's for local expanded. live. It's great. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is oh, we love LMC TV. We sure do. So they, they really... They really capture the spirit of the community. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the things that they have on the air, we're very, very fortunate <laughs> to have. Right, and, and Local Live uh, is a new program they put on. Oh, it is? And, and it's sort of, um, in fact, uh, I'm also chair of the uh, Border Control, uh, Lost from Amaranic TV, and it's one of the reasons that uh, you want to support this. It's an integral part of the democratic process. You now have national newspapers. You don't have anything local reporting anymore. Yeah, yeah. These guys report local meetings, sports, and so on. Yep. Uh, it's just a fantastic uh, element of the building yeah. of America. And again, mostly all volunteers. Great. So we welcome in the Knights of Columbus from Maranek. KFC. Yep. KFC. And the Maranek Elks. Oh, yeah. Here's the local community now. Isn't that great? Yep. Another, another Boy Scout oh, group, Oh, these Chelsea? are Boy Scouts now. Yeah. They're finally, uh, welcome Pack. in the Boy Scouts, the Pack 33 from Larchmont. Yeah. The Maranek Elks. Proud All to right. be a member. Yes. You're an Elk. Yeah. Good job, guys. Would that be the Cub Scouts? The Pack is the Cubs. I think it? they're Cubs, yeah. yes. The Cubs. They look like Cubs. Yeah. Someday they'll be, uh, but they're boys. No. And they've got their own little sign with their shamrock on it. Good job, boys. Good job. Now we got Pack 11 Get that from flag up there, guys. the Church of the Resurrection. There you go. Boy Scouts. Coming yeah. in from Ryan, a great, nice. You know, it's great to see some of the other the villages and towns along the area. Oh, absolutely. It. And I Good think job, it, so. it sort of developed from the first one. Well, we're hoping it's, to get more. It's the Sound Shore. That's absolutely. The sound Shore, Shore takes in Port Testament yeah. Pelham. Right. We're just excited. fortunate to have this on the island. Yeah. They've got I, the Blue Zillas yeah. there, Christy. If you watch the World Cup in Africa. from the Maranek Avenue. That's it. Now, it looks uh, like the uh, Maranek High School baseball team. It looks like we've got. That's a. Who's the coach? Right, in there. It looks I like just had the pleasure of uh, giving a proclamation to Coach Chaparelli. Really? Uh, an Hello, amazing, Mike. an amazing coach Hello, with awesome. thousands of All wins. Right. Good job, guys. Championships and everything else. Next year we want the hair, hair dyed green. I think, Mike. What I, I would say, you know, there's some strapping lads right there. I see. Some, hey, I think we're contenders this year for the state title. <laughs> oh, really? Look at that. The, yeah, they're big boys. The big boys. And now, now we like up. to welcome in Fire, the drumline sponsored by Habitat for Humanity of Westchester. Yeah, these guys are something else. Exactly. Right. They are so We've had else. the pleasure. Who's the first Grand Marshal? First Grand right Marshal. Here. There he is, right there. So here uh, he comes. Here he comes. Uh, give, up, give up your chair to Jim. Valley uh, pageants actually raised money for Habitat for Humanity of Westchester. Mr. Mr. Kalor. Mr. Sunshine. She's a pretty Irish. Girl, Hi, Jim. He knows them all. What's going on? Oh, Rosie, it's good, good to see you. So nice to see you. Hello, Jim. We no. love you all. Want well, to tell us a little bit about fire? Well, these are, this is the Fire Habitat Marching Band. They're all inner city kids from Yonkers. Habitat buys the drums, the T-shirts. We went to school. Every kid deserves a good shot like Maranek High School kids. 
and they can't be in the band if they don't help There's the community drums, service Chelsea. on yeah, Ashford, so where good. Matt oh, Murphy really brothers good. helped do veteran homes. But we love Romantic, we love Large One. We did 200 homes in the floods here. We got an award for the design homes over on Howard Avenue. We love our rose and bloom. And what a great day, Murphy, it is for this day. Oh, she's Absolutely. a pretty girl. Will you go out with me later? <laughs> no, no, she wouldn't be. She'd be wise not to. <laughs> Habitat WC, we're trending right now. Oh, HabitatWC.org, we want everyone to hit it. Every kid needs to learn how to how to be Irish and hammer a nail with us. There you go. That's <laughs> it. We love you, man. All right, Jim. Jim, great job, Jim. Good great job here. as always. Bye. Great to see you, Jim. God bless. Bye. I love the shorts, Jim. Love the shorts. Jim Kaloran was the the original, the first Grand Marshal on our first parade, first first annual parade four years ago. So great to have him here as always. Yeah. Jim is a doer. He really is a doer, Jim. Yeah. He spent after Sandy. He spent probably a year down in uh, in um, the Rockaways and yeah, that area, yeah. building all those houses back up. Incredible. Yeah. I met him down there several times, and he just refused to leave until it was back to normal. Here we go. Right. As I say, you know, it says Jim and Habitat. He says we may build houses, but they build community spirit. They're yeah. terrific. That's true. We've got the Rye Fire Department. Rye hey, Fire Rye Department. is in the house. Isn't that great? That's right. Yeah. Yes. Led, led by Chief Peter Cotter. Pete Cotter is their chief. Chrissy, how are you holding up there? Do you need a glove or is your hands? Your I'm hands good. Still I'm good. I'm hanging in there. Hanging in there. The hands should be re ready to fall off you at this stage. I know. Oh my gosh, it's cold. At least I have a nice warm coat. Right? Oh, thank God. Thank and God. I'm a lot more parade to come. Some two great guys. Oh, yeah, very so. warm. Blue. Thank you. You didn't have to say that, but you can say it again. <laughs> Now we have Dance Elite coming up, I believe. Is that right, Chris, Chelsea? Yes, Dance yeah. Elite. Um, and I oh, I see them in the purple jacket. So it yep. looks like they're, they have some stepping going on as they well. They sure do. They sure do. Where are they from, I wonder? Um, doesn't say where they're from. Doesn't say where they're from. No. But I like it. Their, their goal is to yeah. instill self-confidence. And self-esteem, which is very important, right? Yes, I totally agree. Especially I, at a dancer. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. And it yeah. says that um, it allows them to gain self-respect, which I think is so important for kids when they're involved in any activity. I agree. Absolutely agree. And is Miss New York State Princess with them, or is she uh, coming a little later, I guess? I think she's behind them. Okay, good, good. Can't wait to see her. Dance Elite. That's it. They got their chant going, guys. Oh, they got yeah. Yes, it's a going. Dance Elite chant. Let's go, girls. Come on, girls. Put it on. Let's see you dance. Yeah. And I like the way they spell dance. Notice the way they spell cool. dance. Oh, yeah. Dance with an S. Here we go. The girls are going. Dance Elite. Oh, they're terrific. Very good. Very good. Good job, guys. Where are you based? Where are you based, girls? Where are you based? We're Dance Elite Studios in the Marinette. In the Marinette. Yeah. Brilliant. Good job. Okay, Dance so Elite they're right here at the Marinette. Great. They're local. Terrific. Did yes. you know that, Mike? I did not. First Tonight. time here. They are the first time in the parade. Yeah. yeah. That's brilliant. And they're local, yeah. so you can go yeah. and take your dance lessons. I could get there, my dance lessons. I don't have to go to O'Rourke's oh, anymore. There huh? she is. There she is. There oh, she my is. God, Mike. Oh, my gosh. Miss, oh, who is this? This Miss New York State Princess. Thank you. For 2014, 2015. That is Lily Fauci. Very nice. Oh, she's six years oh, old. Oh, my gosh. She, she's so cute. Isn't she so cute. cute. I think her crown has more bling than mine, though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get a picture of her with yeah. you. So, well, that's, she was second runner-up in the national competition. Wow. Incredible. I mean, you can tell. Look at how much personality she oh, has. Oh, my God. Great job. Great job. Lily, excellent. Well done. Well Look, done. See, Pat, you can see. I am indeed, yes. Pat, you can see that they're connecting. You can see. Oh, Lily absolutely. and Chelsea, you can see this, right? Yes. So, oh, thank speaking you. that thank you. invisible thank you. princess language. Yeah. That's good. She is Miss right? We have a crown connection. Crown connection, yeah. right. All right. Is that Make a little girl jealous. Oh, no. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Very good job. Very good well, job. Well, you know, so many people, they're so scared to put their young daughters into pageants, but it's actually a really wonderful thing. And you can even see it with Lily, how much confidence she has at just six years old. 
you know. That's a good point. Absolutely yeah. good point, Chris. Yes. And she's can't. wearing the crown well. Yep. Yes. And she's holding it up well. Absolutely. And as you go through life, you need confidence. Now, you, you might want to say something here about the Maranac High School Red Cross Thank Club. Thank you. Go ahead, Mike. You no, take you that. You know one. something? They Last year, they won the Red Cross Metro New York North Chapter Award for Most Outstanding wow. High School Red Cross Club. Okay. And they represent the humanitarian mission of the Red Cross well. Oh, yeah. Great to have them oh, here. Yeah. Wonderful that they're at the parade. Where would it be without the Red Cross, right, guys? <laughs> I don't know. I really I don't even want to think about I it. I wouldn't want Shutter to think about it. the thought, yeah. Any, whether it's a fire, whether it's a, a, a huge disaster, right. they're there every time. They're there every time. Oh, we got a great, we got a great sound going. Who's that, Christy? Yeah. Who are they? I don't know. It doesn't say here. The oh, the Westchester Brassman from Harrison, New York. Yep. Founded in 1984, Drum and Bugles. Oh, cool! Right? Very good. Oh, I want Boy, them there's to a come lot more closer. parade to come. Look at this. Will. They're on the direction of Joseph Mazzullo. The Corps provides a quality of educational experience for the novice professional musician and performer. The Brassmen welcome new members and rehearse Friday nights at the American Legion in Harrison. Wow. Just up the road, Mike. Right? Just up the road. Just up the road. Yes, and again, part of the Sound Shore, the great yeah. community of the Sound Shore. That's, we'll talk about that, Mike. This is more than just Larchmont, Harrison, right? Mamarnick. It's well, well, the Sound Shore takes in Port Chester all the way down to Pelham. Right. Uh, against wow. the Sound there, you know, we'd like to see more and more of these groups from the, those areas coming in here, local schools, school bands. Terrific. <laughs> Somebody you know, Pat. Someone I know, Somebody Mike. From the old country. <laughs> Somebody, no, 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 no. From the back and beyond. <laughs> This is a great sound. Let's let's listen to the brass Oh, the here, Westchester guys. brass band. Wow, they are the best. That's, That's why incredible. they saved them the last. Wow, yeah. beautiful. They look like one of those high school marching bands in Florida, don't they, guys? Yeah. You know, that you see in the Rose Parade and then on uh, Thanksgiving Day. Hold on, guys. Hold on. of those great drums, that oh, drum yeah. line. I remember that movie, Drumline. It was a terrific movie, wasn't I it? Do. I, I love, love that. that. I think Nick Cannon was in that movie. Nick Cannon he? was, that's yeah. correct, yep. Leading role, you know? It was a great movie. But you're right, the sound of the drums. And I think we're getting close to the end here, guys. Yeah. It's been a wonderful parade. It oh, has. I love the music. Oh, I think my gosh. that's my favorite. The music oh, yeah. and the dancing. Absolutely. The Absolutely. little kids. I just like everything. I like everything except the wind and the cold. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but it's been great. It warms everybody's heart to see a crowd out like this. And sure does, a, but can't get to the end of the parade until we have the Tano Marinick here, the Tano Marinick Fire Department led That's by right. Chief Noah Goldberg. That's right. Noah and his group. Good job. Good job, Brassman. Aren't they terrific? Oh, they're fantastic. They they're fantastic. This really is He's good. Still in dance. Yeah. So after this, we all get to do a respite in, in Molly's Plains, I believe. Is that right? I would say so. It so. sounds like uh, it's uh, the order of the day. I think so. Irish coffee, I'd say, a little for three. Bit, just a wee <laughs> drop. Just a wee drop, Michael. I could do some Irish tea, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, nice and strong, black. Yes. Hot. Yep. No, the great job again by Mimarnik. I think fourth, fourth year. Definitely the largest crowd I've seen, right? Best now. ever. Yeah. I think so. Best ever. I think so. Yes. Absolutely. Great job, guys. Keep up the good work, man. Good job. Ah, you gotta love the firemen, right? That's right, great to come out here for the community. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love firemen. Oh, God. <laughs> Can't get enough of them. I'm mean, St. Patrick's Day Parade in the city. It's just covered with firemen. Oh, right? yeah. It's, it is insane. Wall so, to wall. You, they meet up um, along the streets and just there's so many people. Yes. It's yes, crazy. Yes. It's yes. actually the oldest parade in the entire world. Yep. It sure is. Is that right? Yeah. yeah 246 years old. That's correct. Yeah. And going strong. Still Absolutely. going strong. Absolutely. And becoming more inclusive. This year was the first time they had a LBGT uh, group in it yeah. from Channel 4. Yeah. Uh, and so I think as that happens, we're going to see more and more involvement. Uh, it's nice to see the Irish opening up. Uh, obviously controversial, but um, it's good. It's it would be to great to see the uh, this parade 
a hundred years from now? Oh my God! Right. Yeah. I don't think we'll be seeing it, Mike. So much. I don't know. Maybe we will. You never know, Pat. <laughs> yeah. So the way we're going, right? It's true. It's so. true. You get younger every year, Mike. I noticed that. <laughs> so I think we're we're ready to wrap up here, almost, Chelsea. Do you have a few words, a final words yeah. of, uh, you know, before you do, if you yes. don't mind me, I know you want to say something about sure, LNC TV, sure. but I'd like to once again thank the committee that put this parade together. Thank you. That's the St. Pat, the 2015 Sound Shore St. Patrick's Day Parade committee members. I'd like to thank personally for the work that they've done, Tanya McMenamin and Kevin O'Shea, the committee co-chairs, right. and also the members, Patrick Boyle, Mike Hines, Rich Kelly, Joe Morrow. Caitlin Murphy, Chris Murphy, Laura Murphy, Sean Murphy, Those Jimmy Murphys. Murray, Tim O'Neill, <laughs> Shannon O'Leary, Chris Reagan, Greg Sullivan, and Alan Wilson. Thank you all. Thank you. Great parade. Thank you. Yes, what you do for the town is incredible. Chelsea, I'll let you take it from here. Sure. Go. So if you have a show idea or you want to learn more about television production and you want to report news in your own community, contact LMC TV at their website at www.lmctv.org. Um, and their slogan is, you tell us, we air it for local live. And every Thursday, there's a live discussion. Anyone can call, email, or tweet their opinions and questions. So don't forget to watch LMC TV's hyper local news show, The Local Live, every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. on channel 75 for Cablevision and 36 for Verizon Bios. That's right. LMC TV is such a vital part of this community, isn't it, Chelsea? It, it is. Really it really is. is. And, and we'd like to thank our, our cameramen and our sound people that are here in front of us and have directed us very well, Michael. Because without them, we would have we would have been just clueless. Great job. Great job. So, Great job. What do you say? Three Irish coffees at Molly's. Irish coffees. And, <laughs> and, you know, for 12 months, we'll see you again, town of Mamarnik, right? In 12 That's right. Months time, we'll, we'll 2016, God That's willing. Right. And Chelsea will still be bringing her tiara back. We hope. And joining you us again. You guys can borrow it next year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for having Not me. Not at all, Chelsea. It was our pleasure. Pleasure. Right? The pleasure was all ours. And it certainly you know, was. It's, 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 there's still a few fire engines left here, but for the most part, the, 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 the uh, avenue will be opened up to the public again, right, Mike? <laughs> yes. To enjoy it. Back and to being the friendly village. That's right. And right. they can spend their shekels in all of the local <laughs> uh, wonderful dineries, Frankie and Fanucci's across the street. Oh, it's terrific. Another wonderful Irish dinery, I can tell. With that last name, Wood Oak. You know, they, they're, they're actually calling uh, the Village of Marinick Restaurant Row. Is that right? Wow. Is, yes, some great places along here. There is no yes. doubt. You name the kind of cuisine, we've got it here. Yeah, it's true. It's the, true. What a change. What a turnaround in, in the amazing. last six years. Yep. I mean, it just this town has gone from having one or two restaurants on it to now probably 15, 20. Maybe 20, more. yep. Wow. It's amazing. Bakeries, pizzerias, some of the best pizza in Westchester County. Absolutely, and right? it's a veritable hub. For the Sound Shore area. Yeah. People coming here on a Friday and a Saturday night to uh, it's true, with Mike. their friends. I moved yeah. to East Chester in 1991, and I remember coming up here to the Playhouse across the street, mm -hmm. and there was very little on the on the, on the the block. It was Parking was easy. There was no problem. Finding place to go and eat afterwards was actually difficult. Today, wow. it's the complete opposite. Totally. Complete now we opposite. need more parking. <laughs> it's a buzz. You still come back, though, right? Absolutely, Good. Mike. I would never not come back. Well, I think the Metro North train is right down there, That's so it's a super easy commute, too. That's you right. Walk and, right up the street. And actually, one of the best restaurants, I think, in town is right near the Metro, the, the train station, right? They, they converted, I believe it was one of the old railroad buildings into a restaurant. Isn't that correct? Club oh, car. Wow. That's right, club yep. car. Owned Brilliant. by the McMenamins, yeah. I believe. Food is tremendous, Brian. Chelsea. You got to yeah. bring, bring, or the, the, allow your 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 suitors to bring you up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring my sister queens with me next Very time. Very good. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. That would be great. It it really is. It's a super place. Great atmosphere. Great food. Just like every restaurant in in uh, Mamarnik, though. It's it's a pleasure coming back here. You know, not living here, but having an association with the guys in Mickey's and in Molly's. I love coming to Mamarnik. And then, I don't know if you know, at the end of the street, Mike, what does that lead you right into? The water, right? The harbor. Oh, wow. The harbor. That's yes, right. the, the harbor. harbor. And they've got everything from uh, everything from oh, from uh, okay. boats down there to soccer fields, right, Mike? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's a it's a place for the people to congregate. Yeah. Beehive of, beehive of activity during the during the summer. It's a great during place. The summer. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. So we still have number a few. one village in New York State. How about right. That? Yeah. Sixty what in the country? Sixty-four. Sixty-four. Sixty-three. Sixty-four. Yeah. I'll go with sixty-three. That's fine. Okay, that's yeah, about right higher <laughs> so. Yeah, we'll take. Although that. right now I think I, I might want to be in uh, on the beaches in San Diego or or <laughs> right? that's a good on point. a QS. <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at least my feet do. <laughs> <laughs> when you <laughs> mentioned that uh, that team looked like they should be in Florida, I was like, I would love to be in Florida right now. Land on the beach. I Land agree. Beach. I couldn't agree more. My God, it's well, amazing. up the rear is the uh, the fire trucks in the town of Maranek. Yeah, and who's that behind the fire trucks, Mike? Well, that looks like the Rhineck Varsity Boys. Oh, soccer very good. Team, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. They made them the walk boys. all the way at the end. The poor boys. Wow, they advanced to state playoffs. Yes, they did. Coach Frank Gizzo right. and Coach Brian Ayacovelli. Yeah. Ryan Eck are going to be cool at the they end of this one. They should be bouncing a ball <laughs> you know, on their, with their feet, something like Actually, that. Actually, right? yeah. And I can, I can, I did have the pleasure of witnessing them play because they play at Eastchester, mm. and my son is in the Eastchester soccer team, yeah. and tie them 1-1 in Eastchester, but a very good team. Eastchester wow. in the A division and Ryan Eck in the B division, so wow. they really did good. So well done, Ryan. And who's that behind the Ryan Eck soccer team? Why, <laughs> that's Murphy Brothers good job, Classic boys. Truck. Thank you for hanging in there. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, lads. Well done, Ryan Eck. <laughs> Who is this? What is this white truck again? Like? Uh, that's Murphy Brothers Classic Dear Truck. God, look at that. Who's driving that's, that? That's wow. Joe Morrow there. Sure. <laughs> Who else is in that truck? Let me see. Oh, it's it's the Morrow family. Hello. Huh? Some of the top. Looking good, Joe. Looking good. <laughs> Some of the head organizers. And that's it, I think, right? We have to wrap it up? Yeah, I think so. Oh, so, I'm so sad. No, Chelsea was a player. We loved having this. I, I love being here with you guys. It, it really was good. It really was good. I didn't feel the cold at all, Mike. Every year it gets better and better. It does, it does. Next year, the sunny side, eh? <laughs> yes. Yeah, sorry. We're going to hold you to that LMC TV. So from Mike, Chelsea, and myself, Pat, thank you very much for joining us for the fourth annual St. Patrick's Day Soundshore Parade. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day.